In 2009, Gearbox Software released Borderlands, a true pioneer in the run backwards while shooting genre. Tasked with creating a suitable follow-up, the company were faced with the question that no developer wants to deal with. How do you improve on a perfect formula? Gearbox's answer? Just have everyone talk at you all the time. How can you ever be bored when there is hot comedy shooting at you every conceivable moment? But really, the writing is the main thing differentiating Borderlands 2 from its predecessor. It's just completely awful the entire game. It's the most detestable, lowest common denominator schlock. Just like a certain YouTube series we all know and love. My main issue with the writing here is that it never attempts to give you a character to root for. It doesn't help that your character is basically a silent protagonist, but the most glaring problem is the villain. Handsome Jack is not a compelling villain. I think deep down we kind of want to root for the villain, in any medium. We look for reasons to support these characters who are forced to be underdogs by the basic narrative structure that almost all stories follow. It's why I think Andrew Ryan is such a well-known and celebrated villain. He isn't a cartoon character, he's a character with motives and methods that are at odds with your own, but which are in their own way understandable. Handsome Jack is not that villain. Handsome Jack is a man who spends the entire game oh, yeah, spitting like bad jokes at you and being deplorable. Early in the game there's an audio log you can pick up where he makes fun of a disfigured woman and then shoots her in the head. My husband gave me a skag pearl ring. The pearl released hunger inducing pheromones. Oh, you know what? I am so sorry. I, I just... Oh, holy crap! Did you see your head? It looks like... Oh my god! We'll help kill these savages. And just kind of made me sick to my stomach. This isn't an effective way to set up a villain, it's just disgusting. It doesn't reveal anything about Handsome Jack's character other than that he's evil. And evil isn't really that fun when there's nothing else to it. He's basically snidely whiplash, except instead of tying women to train tracks, he makes sarcastic comments at you. The rest of the characters are somehow worse. Tiny Tina is like... I don't even know how to respond to it. She's like this 13 year old white girl who speaks in the bonics and looks like a skeleton wearing a dirt suit. Having her voice screech out of your speakers for the span of entire missions is like Borderlands 2 daring you not to keep playing. There's not even any reason for her to be this way in the world. She exists as a reference to something, I guess, but she doesn't feel like a character who is a result of the world she lives in. Same goes for the disturbingly crafted mechanic woman you meet who moves like a broken J.C. Penney's mannequin. And these are the memorable characters. Halfway through the game you help a completely flat Irish stereotype fight against a completely flat Hick stereotype, or vice versa. And oh god, don't even get me started on Claptrap. So all this work went into the writing, which is unfortunate, but what's even more unfortunate is that none of this work went into the actual shooting gameplay. Which isn't to say that the shooting is bad, it's just to say that it's the same as the Borderlands 1 shooting. You know, the game where you run backwards and shoot. Here's my main problem with the shooting. Or the structure, rather. So, take a game like any of the Call of Duties. You're doing mostly the same thing during the entire campaign. In the last level, you're shooting Nazis or robots or terrorists the same basic way you were shooting them in the first level. The Call of Duty games depend on set pieces and complete gameplay shifts like turret sections to keep things interesting. I'm not saying this is good or bad, but I want to compare it to the Borderlands 2 system, which doesn't feature the same structure. In Borderlands 2, you spend much more time not shooting things than you do in Call of Duty. You spend a lot of time checking your inventory and selling trash and running places. spend a lot of time opening crates. 
The reason this is okay, or the theoretical reason anyways, is because of loot. The reason you play Borderlands 2 is to get better loot. When you get better loot, bigger numbers pop out of dudes. Your brain releases endorphins. It feels good. But it also starts to feel pretty manipulative as time goes on. The game is constantly throwing extremely minor bits of progression at you that makes it feel like you're constantly getting stronger. This is a system as old as video games. But in this case, in the absence of a compelling story or quest design, it doesn't prop up the game like it should. A slightly more powerful gun isn't that exciting at some point, because all it means is that health bars go down slightly faster. I never felt like I was getting better at Borderlands 2. If I was stuck, I'd go ding a level or buy a gun, and then come back and breeze through whatever giant robot I couldn't beat. I wouldn't have to change my strategy at all, just my equipment. It's very easy to play most of this game standing still as long as you're willing to play into that grind. I actually liked Borderlands 1 though, and I think a lot of the strengths of that game transition well to the sequel. The weapon type system is a lot of fun. Weapons can have different elemental types attached to them, and these elemental types are effective against different types of enemies. Enemies also have different weak points, which helps keep combat more interesting than it would have been. The second win system where you can revive yourself if you kill an enemy before you die is also a great system that leads to some pretty tense and frustrating moments. But at some point I just became incredibly bored with this game. Then I became slightly less bored. But then I got even more bored! There's really not much to it other than shooting dudes in the head and getting yelled at by the worst cast of characters maybe ever put into a video game. Hey, 